assalamu alaikum dear students today we are going to discuss uh, geometric interpretation of derivatives of some uh, special functions now the first one is mod x means modulus function let a be any positive number you know that uh, the domain for this function is entire set or that is set of real numbers now, if we consider a positive a number that is a is greater than zero then the derivative that is left derivative at this point through anal analytic definition means from definition point of view this derivative left derivative is defined as l f dash of a is simply limit h tends to zero f of a minus h minus f of a upon minus h now here f of x if we assume to be mod x is defined by f of x equals to mod x that is f of a minus h is mod of a minus h f of a is mod a upon minus h now as h is greater than zero because uh, we assume that this is positive number and we are finding this left derivative at this positive number and h is also positive but uh, we choose this h in such a way that a minus h is positive that is a is greater than h which implies that for positive number mod of a minus h is a minus h because for positive number mod of x is always x which implies that left derivative that is l f dash of this is simply h tends to 0 a minus h because mod a minus h is mod a simply a minus h minus a upon minus h a cancels so simply we will get here 1 similarly right hand derivative that is or f dash of a is simply mod of h limit h tends to 0 mod a plus h minus f of a upon h which is a plus h minus h a cancels 1 1 cancels so 1 which implies that l f dash of a equals to or f dash of a so this means that for any positive number this function which is greater than 0 this modulus function is uh, derivable that is derivative exists at each and every point which is positive uh, positive number because left derivative equals to the right derivative hence mod of x is differentiable at x equals to 0 that is at every positive number hence uh, also we can you know prove this for the negative number that is if we consider a to be negative number that is a is less than zero this uh, left derivative as well as right derivative is minus one minus one hence we can say that this left derivative at uh, this uh, and uh, this function is derivable at x equals to non sorry this uh, x equals to negative number now if we uh, now we will check its differentiability at x equals to zero now if we consider x equals to zero then l f dash of zero is simply h tends to zero limit f of zero minus h minus f of uh, zero upon minus h which is simply after putting all these values it is minus one and or f dash of zero is limit h tends to zero f of zero plus h minus f of zero upon h that is z mod of h minus zero upon h h h cancels it is one so this means that here left derivative at this one zero is minus one right derivative at uh, this zero is one this means that left derivative is not equals to the right derivative hence this function is not differentiable at x equals to zero now if we consider it is graph that is graph of this uh, mod x that is modulus function at zero it touches the x axis that is at this there is the v shaped and there is a vertex at x equals to zero now if we consider uh, from this uh, above we uh, we proved that at this point this function is not a differentiable not a differentiable means here this uh, left derivative at as well as right derivative exists finitely exists finitely but their value is not same so this means that we can say that its derivative that is limit does not exist at all or overall this limit does not exist although left as well as right derivatives exist as finite finitely you know that the derivative means you know the tangent unique tangent at a given point if it is differentiable if the function is differentiable it means unique tangent now if we consider you know the point is greater than zero here that is this portion here at each and every point we will draw only one tangent that is unique tangent which is this line actually this line when we draw a unique tangent at a point this means that for that unique tangent it has you know unique slope 
so when it has unique slope which implies that it is differentiable now similarly for this portion for this negative portion at each and every point we can draw you know unique tangent at each and every point that is it has a unique slope that is derivative is unique now if we consider you know this by above it is not differentiable at x equals to zero the reason being that here at this point at vertex we can draw infinitely many tangents when we draw infinitely many tangents so at uh, for each and every tangent it has its uh, uh, this uh, slope so this means that slope is not unique at a given point hence it is not differentiable so this means that non-differentiability or when the function is not differentiable at a given point it means we cannot either draw this uh, tangent or we can draw infinitely many tangents at a given point or more than one tangent at a given point so from this we conclude that uh, whenever in a graph we have the vertex uh, at some point of its domain then it is not differentiable also differentiability in a domain means a differentiability in an interior of the domain not at the end points of a domain because at end point we can draw infinitely many tangents so this means that if we consider this here we have five different points x1 x2 x3 x4 x5 and the corresponding points on the graph are 1 2 3 4 and 5 now at 1 and 5 they are the end points so this means that we are unable to find you know the unique tangent or we can draw infinitely many tangents at these points so this means that here at these end points that is at x1 and x5 this function is not a differentiable similarly at 2 3 and 4 there are these are the peaks or simply we can say that they are the, there are uh, these are the edges these are the edges hence uh, or vertex or we can simply say the vertex so this means that at these points we can also draw infinitely many tangents like point at point 2 or at point x1 these are the tangents at point 3 these are the uh, more than one tangent similarly at 4 we can draw number of tangents so this means that at these points it is also not differentiable but if we consider you know this graph from 1 to 2 this portion there is no peak there is no edge or vertex it is simply you know the simple curve simple curve at these points we can draw only one tangent hence this means that you know, the function between x1 and x2 is differentiable between x2 and x3 is differentiable between x3 and x4 is differentiable and between x4 and x5 this function is differentiable similarly if we consider you know the function greatest integer that is uh, greatest integer of x uh, domain is 0 less than x less than 3 we have to prove that f is not differentiable at x1 and x2 since we know that the function is not continuous at the integral values or at the at the values which are natural numbers here this uh, domain contains only two natural numbers that is 1 and 2 because 0 and 3 are not in this set so this means that it is not continuous at this point or at these points which implies that when the function is not continuous there is break in the graph when there is break in the graph we can draw infinitely many tangents at the end points at the end point so it is not a differentiable at these points because continuity does not imply as in general you know differentiability but not continuity implies non differentiability now the second method which is the analytic method if we consider at point one left l dash of this uh, one is limit h tends to zero f of greatest integer of one minus h minus one upon h here one minus h is less than one and the greatest greatest integer is zero zero minus which is zero minus one upon h that is when we let this uh, tends to zero it is finite upon infinity or finite upon zero that is infinity similarly right derivative is or f dash of 1 which is limit h tends to 0 it is 1 plus h minus 1 upon h now 1 plus 1 1 plus h is not integer so it is greater than 1 so it is greatest integer is 1 minus 1 upon h that is 0 upon this uh, h which is simply 0 this means that left derivative is not equal to the right derivative hence this is not a differentiable at x equals to 1 similarly you can prove that this function is also not differentiable at x equals to 2 so in this way you can prove any you know function 
to be differentiable or non differentiable through analytic definition or if it is graph is given you can easily you know find you know the, if there are peaks or vertic uh, vertices at any point then at the those points this function is that function is never differentiable so thank you